In the next hundred years, a Finnish education should, I think, continue to play the leadership role that it's been playing. Um, but in order to do so, it will continue. To, it will have to continue to keep looking outside the box because one of the great dangers of success is incrustation. Um, and leadership um, sometimes has a short life um, if the leaders themselves don't continue to grow. So one of the things that, that Finland could do um, is, is be, um, have their own kind of commission, their own groups of teachers and administrators who in effect travel around the world um, looking at best practices everywhere on the globe and um, bringing that back for discussions, sending teachers, maybe, maybe exporting teachers to low-income um, um, regions uh, to help the teachers there, maybe, maybe bringing teachers from around the world to Finland. But I think it, it could be a two-way street where Finland is going out into the world but maybe where Finland is bringing the world to Finland, where, where teachers get, get the kind of training they need. One of the things, I, I'm writing a book right now, uh, it's being edited, uh, entitled Engaged Education. Um, I just published one called Confessions of a Headmaster, um, which the title promises more than the book delivers. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a racy book, it's an educational confessions. But engaged education, I actually talk about Finland, and I talk about the four qualities of Finland that we have upside down in the United States. So Finland looks for first-rate teachers, pays them well, gives them extraordinary t teacher training, and then gives them the freedom and cr to be creative in the classroom. In the United States, we do just the opposite. We get the bottom third of graduates going, uh, college graduates going into teaching. We don't pay them very well. We don't give them good training, and then we put them in the classroom in straight jackets and, and say, teach to the test. So, um, so Finland has got, has got the ingredients to continue to be a world leader. Um, one of the things um, that I think would, is gonna be a major question for the world to look at is, is the, the whole issue of poverty and what can we do about it globally. Now Finland has the advantage of being a relatively heterogeneous society. The United States has the problem of, 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 uh, of, of being, uh, excuse me, homogeneous in Finland and the United States is so, so diverse and filled with so many immigrants and so on. We don't really know how to deal with these and our class sizes have gotten, have gotten larger because of that. But Finland has a, a wonderful opportunity here to to maybe take that on as a, um, as a 20 year project. Global poverty, what could be done about it? Global miseducation, lack of education, um, poor education for girls around the planet. There's so many big issues uh, that maybe there could be a, you know, a long, long term project looking at these issues and bringing the best creative minds um, to bear to, to look at it.